There's been a lot of challenges, a lot of bumps in the road. I'm so proud of my staff. Uh, they kept a great attitude. They just kept plugging along, uh, kept recruiting hard and trying to get the right kids. I'm so happy for this team. You know, uh, a couple months ago, we were three and five or however long ago it was. We lost the rider, you know, and uh, they just kept plugging along. They kept believing, kept getting better, kept coming back to practice, willing to learn. And now they've put us on a stage to be in the final four of the Big Ten tournament with a chance to win the Big Ten championship. After seven long years, that's all we could ask for. Pat, does Tony make that play earlier in the season? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he trusts. And I think he's got great trust in his teammates right now. And he's really emerging as a leader. You can see his confidence out there. You can see his body language out there. He's playing with a really good pace. Um, he, and Josh makes a great cut. You know, it doesn't work if Josh doesn't do simple really well, which is read your defense and then make that second cut. And I give Tony a lot of credit. You know he, he would like to take that shot, and we've seen him take that shot. But he was really selfless to give that ball up for a dunk. Coach, there's a, there's a number that was in a circle at the top of your whiteboard. Tell us what that number is and, and what the significance is. I don't know. I didn't see it. It's the number 200. The 200, the 200 means there's five guys on the floor getting a chance for 40 minutes. So five times 40 is 200. We want to maximize the minutes that everybody's on the floor. But it keeps everybody engaged. The guys that play 38, the guys that play 2, the guys that play 6, the guys that play 12. 200 minutes. Let's maximize that. Make sure we get a lot of attitude points, which is the stuff that doesn't show up in the box. Patrick, you sound exhausted. Uh, how do you think your players are feeling, and how hard of a turnaround is it going to be to get them back ready to play tomorrow? They're great. They're great. We conditioned all summer long for this. We, we, we called it back to back. Be ready for the back to backs. Now we got back to back to back. They're ready. I, I, you know, we're for a coach, and we got to watch film. You know what I mean? We got to prepare. You know, right now I'll sleep in April. We, we got to figure this out and, and compete hard tomorrow for 40 minutes. How, how much of an advantage? It, I mean, obviously it's a kind of a converse advantage, but throwing different things at teams, not having Mike. Do you think that that challenges teams, given that you know they don't know exactly what you're going to yeah, do? Yeah, but after a few games, I think they know what we're going to do. Like Nebraska, we were still trying to find ourselves. And I think after Northwestern, we you know we found ourselves a little bit. We can play small. We can play big. I think John's given us great minutes. I thought Julian gave us great minutes. And the other four guys are doing what they're supposed to do. You know, Lamar played great yesterday. Josh played really well. Uh, Lamar played great today. Josh played great yesterday. Everybody's stepping up. Shep's playing like a senior. With the steal and the charge and joins getting blocks and rebounds it's really nice to see these guys find success what happened with the whole bus thing i mean uh, we've gotten reports that there was an accident that it was stolen yeah, we, you know, it was crazy and how, how does that I've impact you guys we were in new york and we got dinged up a little bit but that's what happens in new york when you're when you're trying to get to the gym on time you know it's better your bus is dinged up it's unbelievable i never thought i'd see that what, 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 what happened? kind of delay yeah tell us what it was a little bit of a delay it took us a little while to get here we got dinged up you know they got to go outside they got to look at what's going on, see How if there's long? any damage. What do you think? Let's put it this way. We got here, we left at four, a little after 425, and we didn't get here to 520. And it so it shouldn't take down maybe 30, what? 35 minutes. And it took a half hour after. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What'd you do? Did you get out of the bus? We kept a great attitude. Just stay we on took the bus? a deep breath. Stay on the bus? Absolutely. Okay. We didn't panic. There was no panic. Play games? Yes. We hung out. We chatted. <laughs> um, when you knew that Mike Watkins was not going to be, when was that exactly that you knew he wasn't going to be back? Was it yeah. sometime after Michigan or sometime after? Uh, it was really a little bit before Nebraska because Mike is a thoroughbred. He's a stud athlete, so you always think guys can heal real quickly. And I'm still hopeful for that, for the tournament, the NCAA tournament that is. So we'll see. I thought we weren't mentioning the NCAA tournament. I just mentioned it. All right. So that does, I think Jerry Palm is here. He's a Purdue grad, <laughs> yeah. and, and I've known him forever. He was saying you need Purdue. Who knows what you really need? But are you going to broach the subject with these guys now and say, you know, this could be for the tournament? Because you know what the tournament's like. They don't. You know what? I think just getting them better every single day and sticking to that message is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. But for you and I right now, yeah. We gotta keep winning. So, do you think you belong in the tournament now? I'm asking. Absolutely. You. And what? Do you, why? Because we have enough quad one wins. What's What's What do you remember about 
the tournament from Boston, from BU. Uh, a lot of fun. And, and what, the fans what, were could you, what could you say to these guys once you get in, if you got in, about what it's like? Yeah, uh, you'll tell the stories. experience was awesome. My, my days at Villanova, my days at BU, so much fun. So much fun. We really enjoyed it. But you're the head coach at BU. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Every experience was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks.